Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today I'm going to talk about um, Hiko Goblin's response to my video game video <laughs> to my video game content that talked about how AAA games should be $150. So my supposition is that AAA games, the cream of the crop, games that are similar to um, Assassin's Creed, Call of Duty, Horizon Zero Dawn. Uh, video games that are coming out from established producers that are incredibly um, high-end content, objectively considered high-end content across the industry, should cost $150. Now, Hiko Goblin uh, brought back an, a, a really, really strong uh, response, um, which I thought was excellent. And uh, what he said is that there, here's the reasons why this should not be the case. The industry is doing a few different things. One, they are, the industry overall, and definitely all of these established producers are doing this, generally. Um, and that is, they're releasing unfinished games. His point, in, his point for that one was uh, Mass Effect Andromeda, okay? Perfect example um, of, of his point, right? Uh, he said, so one, they are, they are releasing unfinished games, like so... Uh, Mass Effect Andromeda had a, a major issue with the way um, the faces moved and facial animation, right? And then also, many contents are coming out day one with DLC, downloadable content, as part of the game experience. Again, that would go to his point of releasing an unfinished game, okay? Uh, he also talked about Steam being absolutely chock full of thousands of games, that are being reduced to se at 75 to 90% off within the same year they're released, right? And so these are his points saying, no, you know, you should keep it at $60. And, uh, and the reason why is uh, because of the reason he just said. Now, my opinion is every single thing he said confirms my opinion that uh, we should, that AAA games should be $150. So the Steam issue is, my point is, $150 is for the cream of the crop. It's for the, you know, it, and, and what is the cream of the crop within the, within the video game industry right now? It's insanely high um, resolution. Uh, insanely high resolution, heavy, heavy combat focus, okay? Um, and that, that's it. Like, if you go across Horizon Zero Dawn, Call of Duty, Halo, um, you know, all the big dogs, uh... Uncharted, all the major ones, insane high resolution, heavy, heavy combat uh, focus, right? So if you have an, if you are an established producer of video games and you have created an engine that can produce this kind of game, you should absolutely be be demanding top dollar for that game, a hundred and fifty dollars on release. Okay. Now the Steam game, the Steam example, that is absolutely saying, hey, um, th really, there's just a ton of chaff in the industry. That I don't think that proves at all that the AAA game shouldn't be $150 on release. Now, sure, it'll go down, but the reality is here's here's the key. Everything I'm saying is based on numbers. Okay. Basically, right now, the video game industry has something that I think is fairly unique. Uh, young men, I, I think between the ages of essentially 16 and 32, are playing video games for such a long period of their life with a dedication level that I don't think has been seen for any significant cultural touch point in a very, very long time, right? And so really, I think one of the things that allows, that would allow them to have $150 games is right now video games really have a huge segment of the of the male population dedicating their lives to the pursuit of playing video games like it's their number one hobby and in some cases it's gone beyond that level of hobby and there are a massive amount of of young men trying to play in esports trying to become video game developers so even the ones who are you know who are it's extremely common for young men to be playing 10 to 40 hours a week video games, right? Um, and on the PC side, it's like, it, it's so off the chain, it's ridiculous. Like hundreds of hours being dumped into 
uh, into in the video games like e e each month. It's it's just it's crazy. Like the the amount of the the level of dedication that they have an entire portion of of young men dedicating to these games. I think it absolutely says stop selling get video games for sixty dollars because one of the things that's becoming extremely clear. I think Legends uh, um, Link Breath of the Wild. Um, that is. 100% uh, proof. Not only will they pay $150 to play a game, they will play four. They will pay $400 to play a game. Switch came out with only one decent game on, in the entire collection, right? There were th hundreds of thousands, if not over a million copies sold of of Switch, which which was generated with one game. So you had players playing $400 and up to play one game, right? So me saying that they're gonna pay $150 for a AAA game, I think it's already been proven they'll play $400 to play a AAA game, right? And since this is their number one passion, and in addition to this, it's, it's another strange thing, there's kind of, a, there's kind of a, a support structure behind these players that allow that, that number to be put forward in massive numbers. You know, young men generally have parents and their parents love them and, uh, you know, they have friends and, and resources and, uh, you know, and this isn't me saying it. If you look at advertising, the vast majority of advertising is, is aimed at uh, young people and a big portion of that would be young males uh, in that age range that I talked about before. And so, you, you, you know, this is like, I, I'm absolutely convinced. The other issue is I think uh, Hiko Goblin's example of uh, Mass Effect Andromeda 100% proves my point, right? Mass Effect Andromeda, just look at that game. It is absolutely amazing, right? And what what that group came back with is, oh, their mouths don't move the way they should and their faces don't blink the way they should. Are you kidding me? Like, talk about having a ham under each arm and complaining because you don't have bread. That's insane, right? Like, it's literally like, okay, Call of Duty. In Call of Duty, your shoelaces bounce, right? Like, there has been a massive amount of, of energy and time and effort being poured into these video games that are, by and large, uh, you know, being consumed by people in that, by young men in that age bracket. And it, it is taking a massive amount of resources to supply these games. The, to the point where the games are so good that Mass Andromeda could 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 release an amazing game and people complain because the you know because the mouths don't move very. They're saying, hey, this game is 99% perfect. How dare you not give me that last one percent? And and they're there because they're so used to being catered to that particular you know young male bracket, right? It is so used to being catered to that. It's the state. It's the expectation that's been set, right? So I, I'm, you know, so you have the, and then also, so you have that issue of of games being re released unfinished, and and then also DLC. The other issue is DLC has been out for ten for at least ten years, okay? And again, that that bracket of young male players, you know, between the ages of like sixteen and thirty two are saying, we're dedicating our lives to this hobby, okay? And because of that, we will we will absolutely play your games with DLC. So it's not an issue of, of, the, of the industry saying, of the industry shoehorning and pushing DLC on them. That was put before them years ago. And, the, and they said, hey, our desire to play these games is so high that we will absolutely accept DLC. So, uh, you know, I just, I double down on what I'm saying. Um, out of the box releases, uh, AAA releases on release day should be one hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, Hego Goblin had one more point, and that was, what about people who don't have the money for that, right? And um, you know, what about people who only get a game on their birthdays or for Christmas, right? And actually, he's got a great point there in that it would be nice if those kind of players didn't have to wait, but you know, six, nine, twelve months. 
But the reality is the industry, that, that's not going to drive an industry. We're talking about millions of players, right? Tens of millions, hundreds of millions of players. And you're not going to drive an, a, a, an industry on sentiment. And that is that point there is sentiment. So, and I, honestly, am I supposed to feel sorry for people because they don't get to play a AAA game until it goes on 75 or 90% reduction? Uh, 6%, to 6 months, 12 months down the line? Is that really such a hardship? And, and during that period, you're going to be playing AAA games that came out six months ago? Is, you know, to me, that, that doesn't seem like a real hardship at all and, and not really a concern. did want to say a huge thank you to Hiko Goblin for, for um, you know, listening to the original video, thinking about the content in a, in a deep way, <clears throat> and coming back with a fantastic comment that, that generated me to think a lot. Um, and I, I really appreciate the engagement. Take care. Bye-bye.